So today we're going to be talking about the endocrine system. And again, this is just a general introduction into the endocrine system. So what does the endocrine system do? Well, for the most part, it directs long-term changes Okay, and in science, when we use a triangle, it means um, that we are, it means the word changes, okay? So it's right, long-term changes in activities of other organs, or other organ systems, okay? So basically, usually what happens is a hormone is released and then it goes to somewhere else in the body and it has an effect on it. And the endocrine system does long-term changes, like such as when you go through puberty, that is a long change. The, it's the opposite of the nervous system, which basically goes through um, short changes. It makes differences right away. So what are the parts of the endocrine system? Okay, so the first one is the penile gland. And the penile gland is actually up in the brain, in the epithalamus. And basically, the penile gland helps you sleep. Okay, the second one is the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland is located just below the hypothalamus. And basically, what it's responsible for, it has many functions. But for example, one of them is to go through puberty. It makes you grow. It releases something called growth hormone. Okay, you have your thyroid gland which is in your neck. Okay, so there's another one. And the thyroid is often associated with metabolism. Okay. You have your thymus gland. And the thymus gland usually becomes inactive in adults. But um, for kids, this is where white blood cells go to mature, okay? The next one we have is you have your pancreas. Okay, and your pancreas is basically um, releases some hormones that have to do with digestion and putting sugar into cells and taking it out of cells. We have the, oh, I should have mentioned this earlier, the parathyroid gland. So the parathyroid gland, what it does is it basically regulates calcium going into, and, uh, into bones. Okay, and then after that, you have the adrenal gland. The adrenal gland is responsible for the fight or flight response. Okay, and these are located right above the kidneys. You have the kidney, which is also part of this. The kidney is also part of the urinary system. The kidney releases hormones that have to do with how much water you retain to control blood pressure and things such as that. And then you have the ovaries in females and the testes in males. Okay, so, and basically these have to do with uh, reproduction and things such as that. So those are the parts of the endocrine system.